On this short stack, we'll be talking about Batman 22, the button part three. I'm gonna tell you if it's any good in five minutes or less. Batman 22 starts out in the Batcave in the Flashpoint universe with Thomas Wayne, and he's reflecting on the Flashpoint event, saying that when Flash left, that should have been it. He, his universe should have been gone, but something is holding him there. And since it's holding him there, time is still moving. And Aquaman and Wonder Woman have decided to finally join forces on one thing, to kill the bat. Thomas Wayne prepares for the Atlantean Amazonian assault the only way he, he knows how. He's going to kill himself and everyone with him in a huge fiery death ball explosion. He's rigged explosives all around the Batcave and all around Wayne Manor. Before the forces make it to his door, however, we see Batman and Flash coming into the cave and this picks up right where Flash 21 left off with them entering the cave and saying, I know this cave, it looks familiar, but it's different. Thomas Wayne attacks the Flash T talking to him about how he promised him hope and how the Flashpoint universe would be gone, his son would be safe, and that didn't come through. We don't really know why. We know some invisible force is holding the Flashpoint universe together, but we're not sure. We, we assume it's Dr. Manhattan. The Amazonians and Atlanteans make their way into Wayne Manor, and they start heading to the basement. Flash says he needs one minute so he can fix the cosmic treadmill, and the Batmans are going to give him that minute. Thomas Wayne picks up a gun to start fighting the Amazons, and Bruce knocks it out of his hand saying, no, we're, we're doing this my way. And we get this huge, nice fight with the Batmans fighting the, these uh, opposing forces and Flash building the treadmill. It's really cool. Jason Fabok's art is wonderful in this display. And you get a real sense of urgency in everything. Once the treadmill is fixed, Bruce and Flash hop on and Bruce is trying to get Thomas to go. And Thomas is saying, no, go. You need to be with your people. I got this. And Bruce is saying, no, there's things that we need to talk about the letter that you sent. It's changed my life. It's the greatest gift everyone's ever given to me. There's things you don't know. Thomas, you're a grandfather. Thomas Wayne, of course, isn't having any of it. He shoves Bruce on the treadmill. And as they're about to leave, he says, Bruce, please don't be Batman. He tells him to give up Batman, have a normal life, raise his son, find someone to love. But before anything else can happen, the two jet off into the speed force to try to go back to their own time. And Thomas is left there with a the detonator in his hand and he ends up smashing it. He's not gonna blow himself up. But while all this is happening, the world is being eaten away because the invisible force that has been holding everything together starts to destroy the Flashpoint universe. Flash and Batman head into the Speed Force to try to go back to their own time. Where do they go? What happens? You have to find out in Flash 22, which is part four, the end of the button. And and overall, this issue is really good. We we get all the Flashpoint stuff wrapped up nicely. We get more information, a little bit more information on Dr. Manhattan and the Watchmen stuff. I know that's big. That's been a big complaint about this series is that it's more of a Flashpoint tie-in, a Flashpoint wrap-up than expanding on the button. But we're getting it. It's small, but it is there. And I think this whole slow burn that DC is is using for this event is going to pay off big time. It might not be next month, not might might not be this month, but it's going to pay off soon. Tom King is joined by Josh Williamson on this issue. Josh Williamson, of course, is writing The Flash and co helping co-write this whole button event. They do a great job of handling all the characters. Of course, Josh has been writing The Flash, so he, he does a good Flash. We get these really cool moment, emotional moments with Bruce and Thomas that really lend to the credibility that this storyline is important. That's all helped by Jason Fabok's art, which evokes a lot of mood and a lot of emotions. And it's also helping that rush pacing because once again, Flash, he needs a minute and the Batmans need to buy him a minute to fix the Cosmic Treadmill. This is one of the best things I read this week. Once again, it's $3, $4 if you're getting the lenticular, go pick it up. And that's gonna wrap things up for me all here on this short stack. Of course, for more Comic Plunder, for more short stacks, please remember to like and subscribe to youtube.com slash Comic Plunder. Tell me what you thought about the issue in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think I probably should have done Secret Empire this week instead? What's rolling on in your minds? Let me know, comment section below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Lucas, and I'll see you guys on the next round.